What's up guys? Welcome back to Blue Prism Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn three different use cases. First one, how to write a value into a particular cell by using set cell value. Second one, how to write a value inside the cell by creating a new worksheet. Third one, how to set a value inside the cell by activating worksheet. If you observe in all our previous sessions related to the Excel actions, we have learned how to retrieve the worksheet data by using get worksheet as collection as well as by using get worksheet as collection first. And also we have seen how to get the data from the worksheet by using get worksheet as collection offset. And also we have seen how to get the particular range of the data inside the worksheet by using get worksheet range as collection, right? Now we are going to write the data inside the particular cell by using set cell value. Let me show you how we can do that by using blue prism actions. Let me drag and drop action trays onto the canvas. First of all, we'll see the properties how to write the data inside the worksheet cell by using Excel VBO actions. Go to the properties. I'm going to select business object over here as MS Excel VBO. To write the data inside the Excel, we are going to use set cell value. I'm going to select the action set cell value. What are the inputs we need to give it to write the data inside that? Before that, let me show you a small example over here. Let's assume I want to write the data over here in a particular cell that is A13. Like in a such a way, I want to write hello world. How can we go ahead and do that? By using the cell reference, first of all, we have to select the cell reference. At the value, we can see over here A13. And then if you see over here, what is the active worksheet over here as employees? And the workbook, we are having employee workbook. These three things are very important over here. All right. First of all, if you see, if you're not going to activate the worksheet in that case, whichever you have selected in the particular Excel, which is already there at particular active worksheet, that active worksheet, it will take it as a default over here. Let me show you that. Now I'm going to give the inputs over here as handle. We have seen this handle already. Let me drag and drop this value on the cell reference right if you see i have to provide this reference for the time being what i will do i will give some other reference value over here as b13 all right and if you see the value i'm going to give it as hello world now what it will do it will write the value it will first set the value as b13 and inside that it will write the value hello world so you may ask which worksheet it will select to write the data, right? We are having n number of worksheets in our particular workbook, but in which worksheet it will write the data? Now, which is their active worksheet is there available in the particular workbook in that only that it will write the data. Now, if you see over here, I have selected or I have made the employees as active so that what it will do, it will write the data inside this only. Now, let me show you that. Now, I'm going to click on outputs. I don't have any outputs for the particular action set cell value. All right, let me click on OK. Now let me link from open workbook to set cell value from set cell value to close workbook. All right, before running the process, we are going to write the data, right? So that please close the workbook, which you are going to write the data. If it is already open, please close it before processing this flow. All right, let's run the process to see the output. Process execution started. And you can see set cell value has action has executed successfully. Now let's reopen the Excel which you have mentioned inside the open workbook. Now, if you see over here, I have mentioned the cell reference as B13 and the by default, the active worksheet is employees so that it has been written inside the inside the cell reference as B13 as hello world. All right, now I'm going to, I'm going to rerun the process once again by making the designation as active worksheet. 
okay now if you see b13 i have to get it the value over here all right now let's rerun the process once again process execution started and the flow has been executed successfully let's open the excel once again to see the output now if you see over here the value in the the value hello world has returned successfully inside the designation because i have manually activated the worksheet over here all right this is my first use case now we'll go for the second use case first i need to create a new worksheet and then i want to write the data inside the worksheet and then i'm going to set a value particular value inside that how can i go ahead and do that it's very simple now to create a new worksheet we are having an action which we have already seen that that is by using create worksheet action let's drag and drop action stays onto the canvas now what i'm going to do i'm going to change the properties over here to create a new worksheet over here the business object i'm going to select ms excel vbo and then i'm going to create a new worksheet by selecting create worksheet i'm going to give the handle over here as handle value and the workbook name i'm having the value over here as workbook name that is inside that that i'm having employees now i want to give some new name or i want to create a new worksheet let us assume i'm going to say rpa book all right what it will do it will create a new worksheet inside the workbook that is employees and then what are the remaining actions that we have inside the process it will create that all right now let me see the output i don't have any outputs to create the worksheet all right let's click on okay now i'm going to link from open workbook to create worksheet first i need to create a worksheet and then i'm going to set the value inside the a particular worksheet but you may ask we are not going to activating the particular worksheet but by default whenever you are going to create a new worksheet that it will be as a active worksheet when you are going to create a worksheet all right and inside that i am going to write the value in this b13 as hello world and what is the name we have given rpa book right now if you see over here in my excel workbook i don't have the sheet with the name of rpa book all right now let's run the process to see the output process execution started now it is going to create a new worksheet with the name of rpa book and then it has returned the data inside the particular cell as hello world let's open that to see the output now if you see the output over here it has created a new worksheet with the name of rpa book and inside that it has in the particular cell that is b13 it has set a value that is hello world by using set cell value this is the another use case now we'll go for another use case i want to set a value by activating the worksheet nothing but i'm already having n number of worksheets over here inside my employee workbook right now i want to activate any one of the worksheet and then i want to write the data inside that now i will select test over here okay inside that i want to write the data okay now by using create workbook we have created this one right but i want to activate the test worksheet and then i want to write the data inside that how can we go ahead and do that now to activate the worksheet we are having an action called active worksheet right let's drag and drop action can action stays onto the canvas and then first of all we'll set the properties for to activate the worksheet now i'm going to select the vbo as ms excel vbo and the action that i'm having activate worksheet select that over here i want to give the inputs over here as handle and the workbook name what is the workbook name i am having employees inside the workbook name data item and the worksheet which one do you want to activate i'm going to give it as test over here right if the worksheet is not available then it will create it but right now our agenda is that by activating which is already available right 
I have provided test as my worksheet name. And then if you see the outputs, I don't have any outputs over here. Let's click on OK. Now you may ask, we are already having create worksheet. So it will activate, it will create a new worksheet and then it will activate the same worksheet with the RPA workbook. Now if you're going to run multiple times, what will happen? It will create multiple workbooks? No, it will check it out inside that is there any kind of worksheet with this name which we have provided it will check if it is not available then only it will create it all right in the same way in the active worksheet also what it will do it will check the name of the worksheet is it available or not if it is not available then it will create a new workbook by giving the option create if missing as make it in yes true now i'm going to link from create worksheet to ms excel activate worksheet from activate worksheet to set cell value. So even you, you have created a worksheet, but explicitly you are going to activate the worksheet with the name of test. And then inside the test, you are going to write the data. All right, now if you say I am in the RPA book, let me close the Excel and let's run the process to see the output. Process execution started. It is going to create a worksheet, but the sheet is already available so that it won't create once again. Now, by using activate worksheet, it will activate the worksheet with the name of test, and then it will write the data inside that in the particular cell that is B13, and then it will close it before that it will save the workbook, and then it will close the instance. Now, let's open the workbook to see the output. Now, if you see over here, by using activate worksheet, it activated the test worksheet, and, and at the cell B13, it has returned with the hello world. All right, I hope you understand how to write a value in a particular cell by using set cell value action. And also we have seen by creating a new worksheet, how to write the data into the particular cell by using set cell value as well as create worksheet. And also we have seen how to set a value by activating worksheet by using activate worksheet action along with the set cell value. Thank you for watching Blue Prism tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.